Hello, everyone. Welcome to the preview show delivered by FedEx, along with Marty Snyder from NBC Sports. I'm Alan Kavana, preparing you for the most important race of the season. I'm Marty, excited. Are you? Oh, we're going to Phoenix. Marty, I thought <laughs> by this point we'd have some clarity as no. to who the four drivers would be going to Homestead. We have none. We have no idea who's going to go to Homestead. I'm already excited about what's going to happen Sunday. I'm telling you what, I'm so excited, you know, and I think NASCAR kind of came into this thinking we're going to have a championship battle at Homestead, four drivers, and they get it back-to-back -back weeks with yeah. eight drivers this week, everybody in contention. Honestly, I'm telling you, this new chase format has been phenomenal. I am so excited for Sunday. It's going to be an awesome, awesome race. Yeah, let's set the table for you because all eight remaining chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup drivers are separated by 18 points. Take a look at the standings. Right now, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, they're tied for the lead. Ryan Newman is third, two points back. Jeff Gordon in that final cutoff spot in fourth. Then you have four drivers that are currently out, but not by much. Check this out. Matt Kenseth, Carl Edwards, Brad Kislowski, and Kevin Harvick are all within six points a fourth place. Marty, none of those eight drivers have won in the past two weeks. I think one of them will this Sunday. I, agree I, I think with that. one of them has to win this Sunday. Yeah. How do you think this all plays out? Well, I think there's a bunch of different strategies, right? There's a bunch of different games that will go on on Sunday. If you're looking at Denny Hamlin and, and Joey Logano, they have to finish 11th or better and they make it to Homestead. I feel like for the path for Joey Logano, it's very clear. I feel like he'll be at Homestead. For Denny Hamlin and his team, that's a big relief having this point spread because when they went to the Phoenix test a couple of weeks ago, Joe Gibbs Racing as a whole was way off from Hendrick Motorsports. I think though the 11 team could finish top 10. I think their path to Homestead is pretty decent. Ryan Newman finishes ninth or better. He makes it to Homestead. I think that's a little sketchy for them, but I agree with you. I think one of these chasers winds up winning this weekend. I know in my mind which one I think it's going to be. <laughs> we'll get but, to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. But I do think one of them winds up winning, and I think you're going to have another one who finishes second or third at Phoenix. They make it in on points as well. So obviously we're going to have at least three make it in on points. I think it's going to be the winner of the race, a guy who finishes second or third, and I think probably in my mind, Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. Yeah, we're at the point where a top 10 from one of those guys may not qualify sure. you yeah. for, for Homestead. Exactly. I mean, well, that brings us to this week's social pick of the week. How many green white checker finishes do you expect to see <laughs> at Phoenix? Zero, That's one, a good one, or two? You can vote at NASCAR.com slash social. Marty, you get on there and vote. I want to hear what you're, you're going to say. I shall vote. <laughs> so uh, Phoenix, of course, comes with all the added drama of what we saw post-race in Texas. If somehow you missed it, take a look, because we saw hard racing on the track that led, though, to an all-out brawl in the pits. Kevin Harvick helped get it started, but Brad Kozlowski, Jeff Gordon in the middle of it all, their crews, other crews involved. We saw punches, Chaos. we saw bloody lips, we saw it all. Marty, we could talk for an hour just about that fight, but I want to talk about Kozlowski specifically. Right. Because in the last four races, he's either had contact on the track or physically with half of the remaining chase right. field. Is there any way he makes it to Homestead, given how many maybe enemies he has? I think the answer, uh, if can he make it to Homestead, is yes, absolutely. He can make it to Homestead. You look at this type of racetrack, this is the right type of racetrack where they have been so strong this year. Can he win the championship? That's a different story. I have talked to drivers, crew chiefs, crew members this week, and I've never sensed so much animosity built up towards one driver in my 20 plus years in the sport than I have right now with Brad Kozlowski. I don't think anybody would wreck him. They're going to give him no breaks. And I talked to a driver this week, and he put it to me very simply. You don't need friends to have success in the sport, but you don't need enemies because they can make it very hard on you. Brad Keselowski has a lot of enemies right now. Talent aside, ability aside, race car aside, I think guys collectively in the garage area are going to make it very difficult for him to win a championship. I think that's the bottom line. We've seen him overcome it in Talladega. Maybe he'll do it in Phoenix. I don't know, if, like you said, Marty, if he can do it in Homestead. But one way to get to Homestead, by winning. Who's That's gonna, right. Who's going to win in Phoenix? I will go into this saying you had first pick and you took my pick. <laughs> so that, that said, you'll hear who my real pick is. But I'm going to go this weekend, after all I just said, with Brad Keselowski. Ooh. Because you look at the record at this type of racetrack. There's really two racetracks that play into setup at Phoenix. It's Richmond and New Hampshire. 
Penske's undefeated on those tracks this year. I think Brad Keselowski has shown he can do it under pressure. Can they do it two times in a row? That remains to be seen. I think he can race his way into Homestead. I think he's going to be very tough. It's very tempting to say Kevin Harvick. Obviously, he has the record at Phoenix, but I think Brad Keselowski can get it done this weekend. And I'm picking Jeff Gordon. Probably There's the my same, real pick. <laughs> same reason you would. I mean, we're keeping our yeah. ear to the garage. They had a test out there not long ago, and everyone reports from that test that Jeff Gordon was out of this world. He was my pick to win the championship. I'm not going to waver from that right now. And maybe you saw last week, he's got a little fight in him. Four-time, wants to be five-time. There's no reason to pick against Jeff Gordon, especially given all that we're hearing about his car in Texas. Yeah. He's got, I mean, he's going for it. We know well, he's going for and, it. And I talked to Alan Gustafson this week, uh, and he said, we've had the fastest car the last three weeks. I agree with that. But I talked to Rodney Childers and Chad Canals. They both said they would not be surprised if the 24 could win the last two races of the year. They've been that strong lately. And if you look, Harvick's, Harvick's right there speed-wise, but the two's fallen off a little bit. The 22's fallen off just a little bit. So I think right now the best team is Jeff Gordon and his team. And as you mentioned, the tests they had there, crazy good. And we saw him second in Martinsville. Could yeah. have been second last week. I mean, why not go on and win in right. Phoenix and help me out with uh, the, the standings <laughs> It's this all year. about you, come on. It's well, always all about you, I want you, to get right? a few wins in on you. <laughs> all right, from Marty Snyder, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching the preview show delivered by FedEx. It's going to be a heck of a race. Enjoy it.